Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, your boy Fanna Kamamba. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing a market breakdown uh, for a Monday to see where is the potential move for the next coming week uh, on this pair that uh, I'm looking at uh, USD CAC. So as you can clearly see, guys, here, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go a bit uh, back so that I, um, I wanna show you this thing, guys, so that you can uh, clear and have a, a clear view as to what is happening here. So as you can clearly see, guys, here, uh, I don't wanna go uh, too far uh, back in time because of it's it's gonna become even more irrelevant for me. So, but uh, what I wanna I want to show you, uh, guys, is that for the past few months uh, or years, you can see like from you can see 2018. You can see that uh, what USD CAD did it formed this one big what um, ascending type pattern. Someone can see it's a rising wedge. Then when you can see here, what happened is that market shot to the downside, then it formed this continuation pattern, and then it completed this continuation pattern. Once price completed this continuation pattern, it can then decide to go either sideways, it can either go, decide to continue until the 90% rule of this, or it can change direction. So now we can see that market completed the 90% rule here, and then it started to do what? It started to do a consolidation, as you can see, a market was on a consolidation time period here for the longest time because of uh, for like months. Then after that, we saw that market broke out of structure here. Once it broke, came back for a retest. And then once it came back for a retest, it's, it's, it's pushed all the way to the upside. You can see there's a lot of momentum and the drive to the side, probably it was uh, being driven by uh, fundamentals. And now you can see that uh, what happens here is that market is trying to build up what is trying to build up structure, making a uh, lower lows and lower highs, pushing all the way to the downside. So now you can clearly see that we have what here, we have this continuation pattern that confirmed with us that market is ready to continue pushing to the downside. Uh, because of you can see that we have a push to the downside, we have a continuation and another push to the downside. So now uh, I'm just erasing that. So now, guys, we are here. We are focusing on the current price. Uh, after we've read the current, the, the previous prices, to what is it that uh, the market likes to do most of the time? So you can clearly see that now we have another continuation pattern, and then market uh, started to short all the way to the downside. So now it's very important that you can see that market now formed this descending type pattern on bigger time frame. And if I can just turn back, you can clearly see that this is an important era uh, where the market just tapped into these areas uh, or into these zones. Then it reversed, as you can see, even here back in time, a market has been respecting uh, this era here. So now let us dive in a bit more down to um, H4 time frame so that we can get a perspective view. So now you can clearly see that we have this um, uh, falling or uh, yeah, falling type pattern here. As you can see, it's, going to the downside and or it's bearish or whatever. But now what you can clearly see or what you can notice is that we have a first touch here, we have a second touch here. It didn't really come to make this touch here. So I uh, might as well pass that one and you can clearly see exactly here we have we have what we had at that touch. After that third touch, we see market pushing all the way to the upside with a lot of momentum as you can see there's a lot of momentum pushing and then we're seeing market forming this one big continuation pattern telling us that the market is ready to continue pushing to the to the upside but now if you can check a uh, clear price is somewhere here this is no man's land so you cannot really take a trade here because of the market is in between the high and the low here of our pattern so what is that we want to see here we want to see price coming back to test or making a double bottom here. Once price comes back to make a double bottom here, once price comes to make a double bottom here, then we will have to uh, buy low. Remember the, the, this uh, famous saying that says uh, buy low and sell high. So now what's happening here, we want to buy market when they reach these lows here. It's gonna be even a bit more cheaper. So we're gonna be uh, looking to buy when it's low here. Let me just, having uh, to give our trade a bit more breed, about 51 pips, 50 pips, still fine. Um, and targeting our 90% rule here, which is about 7% at 383 pips. 383 pips, yeah, I got that one right. So our target is here, these are, you are looking at our target, the completion of this one big, what, uh, type pattern. So this is our first focus. 
So um, as you can see, guys, now, uh, another thing that uh, we might be looking for here is that the market might not really come here. Remember, guys, we are, uh, we are active traders. Market might not really come here in these areas. But what market can do, it can just push to the, to the upside and form a small continuation pattern. And then once the market forms this continuation pattern, we know that uh, the market has more momentum pushing to the upside because of, remember, the market, what market did here, it, it created this first leg of, of this continuation pattern. So we want to see the market finishing or completing this second leg. So the completion of this second leg, you can clearly see that it is above this our trend line of which uh, even you can clearly see this is a, just a break and a retest and then we want to see price continuing pushing all the way to the upside to our target uh, our 90 percent rule then after that price can either decide to continue pushing to the upside or uh, continue uh, just reverse the push to the downside so this is um my view on usd cat but other than that i'm just going to be reactive and waiting to see what market is going to give me before I can capitalize on this trade. But overall, uh, we, we, are, we are looking at a bullish market now for a USD cat because of you can clearly see we formed this, we broke these highs. As you can see, market has been making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So we've broken this low, these lower highs here and we came back to test them. And now we are pushing, continue pushing to the upside, which is a good sign for us and telling us that market has a bit more momentum to push uh, to the upside. So we are indeed looking at a bullish uh, market momentum. So uh, um, another pair that I'm gonna break down is pound AUD. So um, let me just go back to a daily time frame so that you can clearly see why I throw my structure the way I throw it. So uh, on pound AUD, guys, you can see that we have this expanding channel here. So you can clearly see we have first touch, second touch, we are possibly looking for a third touch somewhere in this area. So uh, in between here, uh, on the downside, you can clearly see as well that we have first touch, second touch, and a third touch here. Uh, let me just grab this. This is our first touch. This is our second touch. And this is our third touch. So we can clearly see now on pound AUT that we have first, second, and third touch. But on the other side, we have first and second. So market has more potential to uh, push, uh, continue pushing all the way to the upside. Okay, I just got that one right, wrong. Uh, to continue pushing all the way to the upside. Um, yeah, so we have, um, now we can see, even if you can just uh, zoom out a bit, even if you can just zoom out a bit, you can really see that we have this one drive pushing, and then we form the small ascending type in here uh, before, uh, we can clearly see, uh, I mean, expanding pattern, not ascending type pattern, uh, expanding uh, type pattern here, as you can clearly see. Then you can clearly see that we have this uh, key area here that market is uh, indeed approaching. So we want to see how the market is going to react. So let's just dive in a bit more to a daily time frame. So now on daily time frame, guys, it's uh, on H4 time frame. I mean, it becomes even more exciting. Why am I saying that? Is because of we are looking at these markets now. We are looking at this market approaching this double top formation here. So when the market is approaching this double top formation, you can clearly see that there is a probability that the market might reverse here because of you can clearly see here we have, uh, let me just get this. We have first touch here, we have second touch. We have, uh, it didn't really come to this area here. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip it. Uh, we have third touch here. So you can clearly see now that the market is approaching our third touch. So we can clearly see a reversal pattern to complete this small um, expanding pattern before we can see that big move pushing all the way to the upside. Because of remember, I told you that we are looking at a bullish momentum, but we still need market to complete this pattern that is here before it can push all the way to the upside. So now we can clearly see that we're going to see and inspect as to how the market is getting into this key area here. If the market is going to break, then we're gonna be looking for a, a break and come back or a continuation pattern. Then we're gonna be capitalizing all the way to the upside. But if the market is gonna fail, we're gonna be waiting for a bit of a push to the downside and a continuation pattern. Then that's when we're gonna be looking to capitalize all the way pushing to the downside to our double bottom formation here. This is gonna be our target, our double formation here. Or we're gonna be looking to put our targets uh, on the third touch before we can move 
all the way to the upside so this is my uh, market overview or breakdown guys thank you so much guys i love you so much uh, stay blessed don't forget to click the like button subscribe and share with your friends for this valuable information remember uh, one tip i can just give you quick don't be a trader that is predicting the market be a trader that is reactive to what the market is doing thank you so much guys peace let there be peace in the middle east let our brothers and sisters be safe much love hey guys what's up this is your fx chases mentor tremaine and we're gonna get into some analysis here on the weekly time frame um i guess we're gonna go through two pairs um this morning for you guys aussie swiss frank and aussie jpy so let's start off with aussie swiss frank now i already do have my charts um sort of marked out i was doing some analysis over the weekend so just forgive all of this analysis that's already on here but guys because i was analyzing for the week it's all still relevant so we're just going to speak about um the basically the structures that i already have drawn on my charts so from a weekly perspective guys what we can see is that we have this resistance area where the market has essentially come in poked into and then shown a nice rejection from this resistance area up top there so already we have some signs of rejection or at least some signs of sellers wanting to jump in now if we look at the most recent price action what we do see is that price was kind of trading within this ascending structure we have broken out of this ascending structure broken back into the ascending structure and now we have broken back outside so we'll go down on to the daily and just discuss what we can see from a daily perspective now from a daily perspective guys what we can see is sellers being interested in pushing prices lower um, we do see two nice um big red impulsive candles breaking and closing back within this ascending structure and then obviously like i told you guys last week we did actually break back outside of the structure and close outside so <clears throat> immediately we see any chart actually breaking back within structure and closing back within structure that's the first sign that we have um basically of some confusion that prices are not impulsively ready to make the move to the upside and also there's some confusion where sellers are thinking of pushing prices lower so in this case guys <clears throat> we're gonna go over what tradable opportunity we might see here on the h4 now unfortunately i did see this this morning so this setup that we could have capitalized on is done but there are still a lot of opportunities to still get involved in as sellers here so the first zone that we were looking at to actually execute a sell order were these previous resistance areas up here anyway price has broken down ever since and we eyed these previous resistance areas up there we are currently seeing an h4 nice bearish engulfing candlestick so once we see this bearish engulfing candlestick all we will be looking for on lower time frames is a pullback um, some type of retracement some type of lower high being formed that will give us an opportunity to actually capitalize on the short move to the downside now our first targets or at least targets that we should be looking at would be at these areas here secondary targets would be at this pink line down here so i am going to be short bias on aussie swiss frank looking at market structure guys market structures is, is showing us signs of at least sellers being interested in this market we have been in these ascending structures towards the upside and we know that ascending structures normally the momentum of these ascending structures breaks to the downside so we want to be trading in the direction of that momentum guys so on aussie swiss frank guys what we're going to be looking for is for this market to actually give us a lower high or an opportunity to actually involve ourselves or enter this trade on these h1 charts now an area that i do have pointed out that i am looking at are these previous resistance areas here if this market does come back tap into these resistance areas then i will be looking to sell obviously i want to be at break even before we reach these lower structures down here and i'm just going to let my position run until first tp which is down there guys so nice short position that we're looking for here on aussie swiss frank that is the first pair that we're going to analyze in this weekly breakdown let's go down on to aussie jpy and we'll discuss because the structure looks quite similar to aussie swiss frank 
So from a weekly perspective, we do have this market that has been making this move to the upside in this corrective structure over here. We do see that we also have a weekly supply area or weekly resistance area. We have poked into this area and have shown some signs of rejection away from this area. Now, I guess this Aussie JPY setup is a lot more nice and a lot more cleaner than um, Aussie Swiss franc, though same structure we've broken out we've broken back we've came back shown a lower high and we could potentially be um or rather this could be the, the the potential beginning of a downtrend where we might see some violation of these lower structures here that we actually did form um on a daily chart so what i will be looking for on the h4 guys i'm not gonna go too too much into detail but this entry we literally missed it this morning um if we go down onto the h1 i was literally looking at this entry we have a nice double top structure over here um unfortunately i was on my way to work so i wasn't able to actually execute the sell order but what i do see here is that we have this market that is essentially created level of structure over here we have pushed away from this level of structure, came back, showed signs of rejection, and then an impulsive push to the downside. So all I'm looking for, guys, is another test of structure. So if this market does pull up into these um, previous support areas that will now be functioning as resistance, then I will be actually looking to sell Aussie JPY. Now, just going back up to the four hour to look at what structure we have. Let's just take this trend line, draw in some structure. And if we do draw in some structure, we can see that we do have this resistance, the, I mean, the support trend line that's running in there at the bottom. So price does has the, have the potential to actually complete here at this 90% rule of this corrective structure, which would be at these low structures over here. And then also if we use Fibonacci for some extended targets, like we did on Aussie Swiss Frank, let's just go pull that Fibonacci tool over there from these lows here to these highs to figure out where our extension targets would be first target a uh, first extension target is the 127 second extension target is the 1618 and obviously i want to be aligning myself with a major structure so the uh, the, the 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 most the most important major structure that i do notice are these lows here which is the beginning of essentially um let's just tap this in there which is the beginning of this impulsive move to the upside so this is obviously an area this was the beginning of this whole move to the upside so that is an area to look out for so i would have my end targets or final targets on this position at the 1618 extension um which are which is obviously at these levels here so i am looking to sell aussie jpy i'm looking to get in on that retest hopefully um aussie jpy does give us that retest and we don't just see a nice run to the downside so if you get that retest guys we'll be looking to take a nice shorting opportunity with targets being at the 90 percent rule of the structure or either at the 90 percent rule of the structure or extended fibonacci targets so Hope you guys um, enjoyed this quick analysis, guys. We're looking for short positions on Aussie Swiss Franc. We're looking for short positions on Aussie Yen. Hopefully the market does give us those entries to capitalize after we've missed previous entries. Um, nonetheless, guys, short bias. Let's do this thing. Let's make some money. Let's 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 learn from, from what the market has to give us, guys. So enjoy the rest of you guys' trading week. Hope this forecast does help you guys.